Good evening. Scheduled to play a home and home series this week. The Mercier's men's hockey team began conference play as they hosted Niagara this evening. Seven minutes into the first period of play up at the Mick, Carson Briere. The son of former NHL standout Danny Briere lights the lamp to make it one nothing Mercyhurst on his first collegiate goal. Later on in the first period of play, Jonathan Bendorf finds the back of the net as the Lakers jumping out to a quick 2 to nothing lead. Fast forward to the second period now, Purple Eagles would get one of those goals back. Matt Cameron would score, pulling Niagara to within 2-1. to one. Nifty move coming up, able to go and find the back of the net. Onto the third period of play now, Dalton Hunter assisting to Fedulalov. That made it 3-1, to one. Mercyhurst. Niagara would battle back though in the third period. They scored twice, sending it to overtime. This one would be decided in a shootout. Here's Briere with a goal keeping the shootout going. Then in the sudden death portion of the shootout, Niagara with a miss, Austin Heideman coming up with the game winner. That was smooth as Mercyhurst goes on to take this one in a shootout over the Purple Eagles. 3-3 is the final score in regulation, 2-1 in the shootout. Well, we knew it was going to be a battle. We knew it was going to be a tight game. You know, obviously disappointed that we couldn't hold on and get that extra point in regulation. We got lots of guys getting great experience. Honestly, in my mindset, just just make sure you get a shot on that. Don't lose it coming down the ice. So, so yeah. I mean, I didn't really get much, and it kind of squeaked through. But I'll take it. And Hyde's had a good goal to finish it off after. So it was good. It's, it's a good feeling to get our first win at home here. Uh, we've been waiting on that one. Unfortunately, there's no fans here, but we're happy to play hockey and obviously happy to get a win. So the Lakers go on to win it in a shootout. Same two teams will play again Friday, but this time at Niagara. 